you join me down here today at Farlow's Lake, it is a stunning, stunning venue. It's got a bit of everything for everyone. Whether you like bays, channels, island fishing, snag fishing, or even open water, it's got a bit of everything for you. The fish in it are truly stunning. I've caught some of them and just, just wow, you've, you've got to give it a go. Over the last couple of months, three, four months, I've been working in the shop on site, so I get a very, very good idea of where the fish are, what's been working, what hasn't been working, and a very good, good idea of, of how to catch them, pretty much. Um, I've had some very good hits on the top and on the bottom. Now you join me today in Peg One, a swim known as Blankers. It's got two islands, one out to my right, one straight in front of me, and a margin down to my left. Today I'm fishing really, really tight to the islands. So underneath the canopies, really, really tight. Most people would cast out, it would be tight, but it wouldn't be tight enough. Now me, if it's not tight enough, it comes straight in and I get it out there until I'm happy and it's really, really tight under them canopies. I just think it's just gonna get a bite that much quicker and land me more fish in the limited time that I've got on the bank. Just to touch on the baiting situation, uh, I haven't stuck a lot of bait out. It's just been little and often. If I went in there straight away and stuck five, 10 kilos out, then the fish might push off, not come back, or they just spook off the bait, and I don't want that. I want them to stay there, and I want to just pick fish off as they come around the islands. So what I'm doing, is I've got little PVA mesh bags with, with various size pellets and hemp oil and that gives just enough attraction to draw the fish down and to get that bite that you need. The other good point is that the PVA bag is very good at, uh, and, and the anti-tangle properties of it are fantastic. So when I cast out, I know that that rig is gonna be sitting perfectly every time. At the moment, and for the last year, I suppose, year and a half, most of my fishing has been done with this rig. It's called the Ronnie Rig. If you haven't already seen it, then go and check Lewis Reed's video out on YouTube and on the Gardener page and where you can learn how to tie it. Set up today is my main line is 14 pound Mirage fluorocarbon. Sinks like a brick, fantastic line. Just an all round gray line. I've got a three ounce flat pair inline lead with a little anti-tangle sleeve on. I've got 20 pound sly skin and the all important end section there, which is the Ronnie rig itself. Now to tie this, I've got a super sharp dark covert mugger. This is in a size six barbed and I've got a size 12 quick lock flexi ring swivel. So I'll first of all, get the hook and push it over the, over the flexi ring swivel with a little bit of shrink tube and that basically, that simple, creates the end section of my rig. So this has been my approach to busy day ticket venues. If you haven't tried it, give it a go, and I'm pretty sure you'll put extra fish on the bank. Enjoy.